Cancer Rising August 2020, there is some definite deciding to do, deciding whether or not you need to focus on one thing between relationships or career, if one of them needs to end, or if there's just some sort of boundary that you're drawing right now. If you are excited to dive into what the astrology, what the tarot cards, and what the oracle deck cards have to say for you and your rising sign for this August, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. This video is also brought to you by BetterHelp, an online counseling service with thousands of licensed therapists certified through their state's board. You can receive this counseling through your phone, mobile device, or any tablet or computer, and you can speak over text, phone call, or video chat. BetterHelp is not a crisis hotline, but it does offer group in our sessions every week to connect about topics such as relationships and anxiety and how to best manage. BetterHelp is $65 a week, and there is financial aid offered to those who qualify. BetterHelp is available worldwide, and if you want to check it out, use my link, info in the description as well. To get started, head to the link down below in the description where you can go through a really easy to follow but detailed sign up process so that within 24 hours you're matched with a licensed therapist and counselor that best suits your needs so you can get relief, get help and get assistance and someone to talk to immediately. On the first, the sun in your Leo second house is squaring Uranus and Taurus in your 11th house. Some unexpected friend things could be leading to some truth coming out about money matters. There could be pressure from friends or groups to spend really dramatically. So just stay grounded in like you, especially in the beginning of the month, that there's a lot of influence this month. Try to come from a place of like what makes the most sense for you because it seems like there's a lot of external judgment and comment coming in this month. On the third, there's a full moon at 11 degrees of Aquarius, a culmination around shared finances. You're releasing maybe a contract, maybe taxes, maybe something is finishing up, like you're completing your taxes or finishing applying for a loan nearing the beginning of the month. On the third, Mars and Aries is squaring Jupiter and Pluto in Capricorn between your 10th and 7th houses. So some friction in your career, some friction around what you're reconsidering your career path to be is being spurred on by your relationship. There's this, I don't know what I want to be doing in my career specifically, what, do my, what is my relationship demanding, and do those thing, two things contradict each other? Um, do I listen to one over the other, or are they on the same page? Like, what are they even saying? There is a revisionary career-based notion as there's an expansive relationship-based notion here. On the fourth, Mercury is entering your Leo second house. Increase in communication around finances, around speaking what is of value to you and of deciding like what you wanna do moving forward financially. Then on the seventh, Venus is entering your Cancer first house. You are increasing in harmony and beauty in your appearance to others. Like when Venus is in the first house, we just come off prettier than, than usual. We just have a glow and Aphrodite elegance to us. Use it, absorb it. If you're looking to get on someone's good side, if you're looking to maybe end a relationship and there's someone else on your mind, this is a good month to do that. Uh, yeah, okay, that's all I'm gonna say about that. But Venus in your first house is cute. It's it's, it's cute. You're, uh, do, do the self-care things. On the 15th, Uranus station retrograde at 10 degrees of Taurus in your 11th house. So you've made a lot of massive changes and sudden shifts regarding friends and groups in your life over the past few years. Now you are looking back on that. It doesn't mean that you are suddenly returning to those groups and friendships, but you're rethinking what it means to have implemented the changes and the shifts in networking that you have made in the years prior. On the 17th, there is a Sun, Mercury, Kazemi, and Leo. There's some information coming to light around finances. You could be getting a gift from a benefactor. Someone could be giving you money, specifically a father or authority figure. Um, that's exciting nearing the 18th of the month, or the 17th of the month. And then on the 18th, there's a new moon in Leo at 28 degrees of Leo in that second house. Looks like someone is giving you money or financial advice or something is happening where you're being gifted the opportunity to make money somehow cool um, financially the end of this month even though there are that there's that relationship career dynamic financially you are you know opening up on the 20 or on the 21st Mars and Aries is squaring Saturn and Capricorn between your 10th and 7th houses so that the revisions in your career is being challenged by your relationships the 
challenges from relationships are very much what you are used to experiencing like this is a kind of a last straw kind of moment like if you haven't already drawn a boundary or decided to stick with this this is a deciding point of how that's going to impact your career and if you're okay with that on the 22nd, then the sun is entering your Virgo third house. The focus is then turning to more routine and like day-to-day -day matters as the month ends. But then on the 25th, Venus in your Cancer first house is opposing Jupiter in your Capricorn seventh house. If things seem too good to be true between you and a relationship partner, they are. It'll feel really great nearing the end of the month. It might seem like everything is reconciled, might seem like everything is back on the same page, it might seem like you have found the one. Maybe you have. Maybe, thing, maybe everything is on the same page, but don't act like you've won the lottery when all you've done is have a good morning before you bought the lottery ticket. I don't know if that's a good metaphor for this or not, but I think you know what I mean. Like the ending of the month is a really exaggerated high point. So stay grounded as the Capricorn realist that I am telling you, telling you. So if you have any thoughts coming up around this August based on the astrology, let me know down below anything that you already are preparing for or seeing come up. And now let's take a look at what the tarot cards have to say and the Oracle deck cards too. So for a tarot card for Cancer Risings, we have the Two of Cups. This is interesting because this is love untroubled by the aging of time. This is love that is innocent, that is kind of pure in a childlike way. So you might be ending something and finding a new like childlike romance or like a teenage kind of love there's a newness to this month which is interesting with these endings that maybe there's something else there's multiple things going on here finally we'll pull a work your light oracle deck card for cancer risings to see what is coming up as my strap falls answer the call what is your soul calling you to do what is your career calling you to do what is your relationship calling you to do honor the calling you cannot depend on other people's input to make as much sense and bring you as much joy as simply following your heart and sometimes following your heart is kind of a rough trail to realize sometimes there's a lot of confusion and a lot of distortion and a lot of I don't know what I'm supposed to think. Take this month to decide from your internal world, not base it on your external feedback. There is one thing you're all forgetting. Better this morning will turn tonight. 